today's episode of Monday Manners, we're going to be looking at CAT CHA first and then finally both The first pair for Monday Madness will be once again a first Cat CHF. Okay, then Cat CHF is going to be quite a quick uh, pair to say the least. Um, obviously, we had that break of structure to the downside, also have that liquidity points over there. As soon as price closed below that area, we knew we were looking for a sell. So, as soon as we had the pullback, what did we do? We add our FIP from high to low. Knowing that, well, we're probably looking for a sell from the 61 order, or from the 38 or 61 to 78 percent FIP. So what all of you guys have seen, I usually do this and now I'm looking for a sell either way. So the key to this is if I take a short position, I get knocked out, I'll take another sell position there, lose 1% and then make another 7, 8% back on the specific position. So in this case, what I would have identified is the previous support becoming resistance at the 38% FIB, but I'll also, then I'll obviously add my area of supply. So how do you get this area of supply? It's quite a difficult one to identify because you don't see spikes or anything. But always look for clues within the market. A specific spike or anything in that sense that indicates this pressure there. And if you actually just look to the right hand side, you'll also see the psychological level lining up. So it's always about confluence. And just like that, you refine your entry and your stop loss to a really small selling zone. So obviously you're not going to sell there at the highs, it's just unrealistic. So you're probably going to be entering somewhere there. And then once you can put your stops above that area and then look for the same thing. So perfect trade over there. If you look at the daily, we had that evening star formation. So after that evening star formation, you'll do the same thing that we've been doing. Drop down time frames and then look for, for a pullback into that range. So what I would have identified on the lower time frames is the selling pressure over there. And I would most probably be looking for a short position somewhere in that range and then realistically have still the same stop loss. But then what I would have also identified price forming a support area, buying area, liquidity point over there. And then as soon as we have the break of the liquidity point, we just saw support becoming resistance on this specific pay. So we know we'll be looking for the exact same thing. We also knew that we sold from a psychological level, so we'll also identify the psychological level over there. And just like that, we'll understand the concept of CAT CHF, and we can also add our FIB from high to low. So we'll see over there, and just like that, you have your supply area order block formed from your area of, of resistance, psychological level to the 61 FIB, and then look for another short position over there. And the second pair is going to be another exotic pair that I haven't traded in a really long time, Odd CHF. So on the daily, we already saw the perfect shooting stock candle coming through, indicating selling pressure. So we had a point of confluence, we had the candlestick confirmation. So all we had to do, what I usually do is I just take horizontal vertical ray, not horizontal. Then I jump to my 4H time frame. From there, price is obviously dipping to the downside. So we can see the daily closed somewhere there. There's the daily close. So already we knew that we're looking for selling pressure on the lower time frame. So all we had to do is just look for a pullback. So what I usually do is just add my FIB then on that smaller time frame and then I'd look for a trade over there. So then once you enter the market, it's all about trade management. Okay. So a lot of people always ask me, when do you put your stops to break even? I think that's a really good question. A lot of people ask you, you always want to put your stop loss just above that zone as well. So about a 200 point to 20 pips stop loss targeting the next area of the mod. so immediately going into the trade what we want to see is here is a big area of support so another sideways market in a sideways market in a sideways market so for me i'll never move my stops to break even unless price closes below this point because we're going to keep ranging within this market so they're going to be looking for entry on the 4h there's a perfect shooting star candle once again spinning tops as well indicating another selling pressure so I'll sell there if price pushes up, I'll sell again to increase my risk reward and then I'll obviously look to run it down and this is going to be quite Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday going into the second week. So holding the trade a little bit longer and once we break through that level, that's when I move my stops to break even and then I obviously look at trade management. So if I'm in a trade, I'll obviously try and identify buying pressure within the range. So if price gets that look, if price rejects, I'll take a position out. Obviously, we have the risk reward. And if not, I'll obviously leave my price to go to the target. 
So just like that, we have a perfect 1 to 10 wrist roll ratio. Then we're looking at the small sideways market over there. We have that liquidity point forming over there. So as soon as price closes below that, we already know that we're looking for selling pressure. So all I do then is add my FIB from my high to low. I'm trying to identify selling pressure within the range. I see it lines up with the 61. And I know that I'm looking for pullback into that range. Why not the 38% FIB? Because there's no selling pressure in this specific range at the 38% FIB. Only at the 61% FIB. And I'll take the continuation. Then we obviously form this lows as well. And price closes below that lows again. And then once we have a pullback, now we're going to use the 38% FIB. Because we have the previous support becoming resistance. We have the 38% FIB. We have the psychological level of 75250 over there. So there's a lot of confluence points then for us to look for another position on that level. Thank you everyone that is watching and supporting. I hope to see you guys on the next one.